So say it with me. Si se puede. Hey, thanks for joining me today. It's uh, Friday, April 2nd. Can't believe it's April already. It's a fact check Friday, and I've got a very easy fact check for you today. You're going to find it really interesting, I believe. But first, uh, flame on. I do want to thank all, thank all the people that comment and uh, share the video. It does make a difference. Yesterday's video, probably the worst received video I've done in a year. Nobody cared about Doge, <laughs> which is uh, interesting. But today we're going to be talking about Jill Biden, uh, Jill, Dr. Jill Biden, and a speech that she gave. So say it with me. Si se puede. And, uh, well, let's just get to the fact check. Let's go with first the Associated Press. Here we are. Farm worker union's flag was backdrop for Jill Biden's speech. Claim, First Lady Jill Biden gave a speech with a vintage German flag in the background. Now, the AP's assessment, false. The First Lady gave a speech in front of a united farm workers flag, which features a black eagle surrounded by a white circle on a red background. Uh, so that was it on Wednesday. Uh, Biden made a visit to the 40 Acres, the first headquarters of the United Farm Workers Labor Union in Delano, California. The location is now a vaccination site, and she urged farm workers to receive the uh, jab. So that's what was going on. It had nothing to do with a vintage German flag. Okay. But what's interesting about the AP story is... There's no pictures. You know, if you're going to say, oh, this looks like this, probably some pictures would be important. Because if you just read it, you would just assume, oh, there's nothing to see here. The AP says it's false. Nothing to see here. But this is what we're talking about. This is the United Farm Workers flag right here. And this... This is that uh, vintage German political flag that I was talking about. And if you look at this flag and this flag, you could think that they might be similar. That one might be inspired by the other one. In fact, when you see these two flags, you would think that, that it would be impossible not to see the association between the two. But the AP just says, ah, that's false. Who would think that? You're crazy. Which is probably why the AP did not put pictures in their story. And we can go over to Snopes. They also did this story earlier today. Did Jill Biden give a speech in front of a vintage German-inspired flag? False. Hey, we talked to a historian. They said, uh, no, this was designed by uh, Cesar Chavez's brother. And the whites for hope, the blacks for the plight of the workers, and the reds for sacrifice. Uh, and any expert that made that association, they're just incorrect. Because that's the, that's the fact-checking that you can expect from Snopes. Now, here in this picture, you can see... I don't know, it kind of looks like one. It, if you were making a dystopian uh, future movie and you wanted to show the bad guys, that's the flag that you would use. Boy, I tell you. Um, it does look like it, and I think that any reasonable person would think that, ah, they look pretty similar. They do look very similar. You know, that's Snopes. And again, Snopes... While they do have some pictures here, they don't show side by side this flag and this flag. Because if they did, you might say, those look pretty damn similar to me. Snopes also didn't do that. That would be an appropriate thing to do if you were fact-checking. You would say, hey, 
look at these two flags. Now, they do have the exact same background. They do have the exact same shape of a circle that's also the exact same color white. And inside that circle, there is a block symbol that is black, but they're not the same symbol. So therefore, nothing to see here. Anybody that makes that claim is just reaching. And while we cannot read the minds of the creator of this flag, uh, Cesar Chavez's brother, right? We don't know exactly if he was inspired by it, but they've definitely heard, hey, that looks like a vintage German flag. I find it really weird that they haven't changed it because it would be easy to change. You cannot, with a straight face, say that these do not resemble each other because they totally do. And when I look at the fact-checking of Snopes, where they just say, false, nothing to see here. When we go to the AP, and they just say, AP's assessment, false, nothing to see here. That's not fact-checking. They're lying to you. Who do you want to believe? Snopes, the Associated Press, or your own lying eyes? But that's just my take on it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have an awesome weekend. Peace. So say it with me. See, say Broadway.